Here's how I make Chicago Cracker Thin Pizza, which is one of my favorite pizzas to make and eat. It's a delicious thin crust round pizza that's well done and typically cut in squares. First, we're adding all the flour, cornmeal, sugar, and yeast into the mixer and mixing on low just for a couple minutes so that all those ingredients are well combined. It should only take about two total minutes and then we'll add our 85% of water volume to the mix and continue to mix on low until it's combined and formed a mass. Once that mass is formed, we're going to add the poolish and continue to mix on low until that poolish is nice and combined with that mass of dough. And from there, increase the speed to 50%, add that salt, and mix until it's well incorporated. Once it's incorporated, we're going to bump that speed up to 75% and allow it to continue to mix and add in that final 15% of water. Stop the mixer once all the water has been absorbed and then remove it from the bowl. The dough should be smooth and tacky in texture. And then we're dividing into our desired portions. I recommend 250 grams. You could even go even lighter than that. Then we're balling the dough and allowing it to rest on the bench for a couple minutes. And then we're gonna give it its final shape and pinch the bottom of the dough and then place into the dough tray. This is in order to prevent any inconsistencies in our dough. I recommend refrigerating anywhere from 24 to 48 hours for best results. In order to open the dough, we're using a blend of bread flour and cornmeal and degassing the dough entirely. No crust on this style of pizza. I like to hit it with a rolling pin to have a nice uniform thickness throughout. Using the rolling pin, we're stretching it out to about a 13 inch circle and then giving it a toss because what fun is making pizza without giving the dough a toss. Here we're trimming the edge of the pizza because again, we want a nice uniform circle even thickness and shape throughout. Once the edge has been trimmed, we're going to perforate that dough using a docker or a fork in order to prevent any bubbles from forming during the baking process. Then from there, taking that dough, placing it onto a flour peel, launching it into the oven and baking at about 600 degrees Fahrenheit. And from there, we're rotating every 30 seconds, about 90 degrees for about two to three minutes. And then once the crust reaches a golden brown, we're removing and cooling it at room temperature. I like to top with a quality tomato sauce, aged mozzarella, and olive oil. And traditionally, you go all the way to the edge with sauce and cheese. And as you see, I am not doing that because that's my personal preference. Then from there, launching it into the oven we're baking with a low flame and this is going to be about a three to four minute bake with the last minute being on high for about one minute rotating continuously and then from there we're removing it from the oven once we've achieved the desired color and allow it to cool at room temp we're going to top with basil pecorino romano and olive oil and then the last thing cutting it into square slices because that's what is one of the unique characteristics of Chicago Cracker Thin Pizza. Enjoy that beautiful thin crust pizza, my friends.